saying 75% of African children don't necessarily experience childhood. They can grow up from their very, their very young age to be more responsible, providing, hustling and working and don't get the chance to grow gradually. And once again, welcome back to my channel. So I'm a Ghanaian based YouTuber. I blog about lifestyle, fitness and practical experiences that inspire people. Yeah, hello, my name is This is your girl on the for once again. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? I'm doing good. I'm doing me, and I'm doing awesome. Recently, I've actually been watching young um, YouTubers, especially those that like Ghanaians or Nigerians who have actually moved from their country to a different country, and I keep hearing them saying in adulting. So I ask myself, what is adulting? I'm like. Mm, I have no idea what adulting is and can you blame me if I have no idea what adulting is? So you cannot blame me if I tell you that I don't know what adulting is and according to Google Adulting is a practice of behaving in a way characteristics of a responsible adult especially the accomplishment of mundane but necessary tasks it feels really good to take a step back from adulting and have someone else cook dinner for you really google but for me my understanding to adulting is a situation whereby you transform from being provided for being taken care of like when you are 14 16 18 you know that some people they can only start adulting when they graduate from the university where they start working and then they receive their own salary and all that then they can really feel like they are not being taken care of or they are not really provided for but for me I don't I don't really know what adulting is because my whole entire life I have kind of like been adult what way back from a very young age see I grew up with a single mother we were three girls my mom is a businesswoman my mom owns um, a fabric shop my mom owns a local eatery of which you call it a chop bar in Ghana my mom owns some you know fried fish kind of business and a shop you know that sells bulk water ice water and stuff like that so growing up with this entrepreneur woman i was born bred raised nurtured and everything into doing business or being an entrepreneur so a situation whereby like you are young and your parents will have to be buying used everything that you literally need until you are done with school no i didn't i didn't know such thing i didn't experience being provided for or being taken care of that is why up till now i can never depend on anybody for just anything i have to provide everything literally for myself so what my mom does is she would just put you in charge of the business where you run the affairs of the business so you are able to run a successful affairs of that portion of that business and that business becomes your own so my mom in my mom's local eatery she sells fufu rice banku kokonte and fried fish so at some point in my life as i remember growing up i've always like i've always known how to you know work for money so i remember at age eight as i can see myself and know that this is me i'm grown and everything at age eight i remember i used to sell orange and where i grew up so um the junction had three different roads to kumase accra and takradi so all the big trucks and the um, passengers and all those small trucks and everything they practically alight at my junction they eat the it's kind of like a stopover so every business you do there actually flourishes so i was selling rice i was selling sugar and you know this mali togo Cote d'ivoire big truck drivers they are stopover so sometimes you can have a connection of some rice some cement some a whole lot of it's like where i grew up it's a place where 
every business happens there but aside that i was running a portion of my mom's eatery where i prepared the bancoon the okra soup the fresh fish light soup and then the grass cutter light soup and stuff like that and i was selling so as at like 14 13 13 14 to 16 before jhs that was the business i was doing and i remember i would wake up early in the morning and prepare like contour bread stew garden egg stew and bean stew early in the morning before i go to school by seven o'clock i'll go to school and then when i close and come back from home it's either i come and sell banku or maybe yam plantain and stuff like that so i was born into it and I was running such businesses so I, I I literally saw how to make money and I had money at a very younger age I remember my secondary school um, admission fee was coins I had to you know bag all those coins and go and then change them like I carried a, a, a kind of like a pan of coin on my head to go to people and the banks to go and change just so I can get the paper to go and pay my secondary school fees that that's that's how serious it was and even when I went to secondary school I was still doing the same business when we were kids where i just show my mom where my money is and she would just go and buy me maybe the condo the cassava dough okra fish and everything so by the time that i come everything is packed for me and then the moment i get home i remove my uniform the next day i'm back to business i am selling and then i will be if the holiday is like three weeks i'll be gathering my money so that i can go and pay my school fees and purchase some provisions for myself so school opens so the moment school opens my school fees is ready my provision is ready like everything that i need for school is ready and i remember in secondary school i had to take care of two or three people i had this um, friend of mine whom's whose um, dad um we don't know but it was alleged that he ran away and left them and there were eight kids and this classmate of mine was very intelligent and had some sponsorship to come to school so when she came in there was no support because the mother was taking care of eight kids without a dad so i had to help her so i was practically taking care of that's my colleague and there was another young lady too that the mom was also a single mother that i had to also help her in school so when i am going to school i don't plan for myself alone i plan for three people and i also had a male friend whom he completed the jss before me but we had to go to ss together and i had to help him because he had to work hard and save a lot of money to pay his own school fees and since he wasn't working he wasn't getting provisions and all those things so i had to help him and all that so i was practically taking care of three people whilst i was in secondary school so I never had the opportunity where you will be in school and you call your mom that I need this, I need that. Yes, once in a while my mom will send me stuff and all those things. But the things that she will send are the things that I buy them in bulk and keep them in the house. So that any time that I need, she will bring them to me. And it was so amazing that I never saw myself as a child or as, an, as a teenager or growing up. Because like... I said all these things at a very young age so I didn't know whether I was younger or I was older I was adult because I didn't celebrate my birthday like whilst people were celebrating their 16th birthday and enjoying life I was busy selling and making money you know completing secondary school I think at somewhere 18 to 19 and when I came back home I was still you know selling so i never saw myself as a child M my mom had like seven to eight workers and they were all grown they were all matured people so and they were not kids so i think at some point in time i realized that my mind was matured more than my body you might see me to be oh this girl might be a bit younger but the maturity that i possess or how i talk how i behave 
and the who or the people that I roam with you would never imagine my age because I never had opportunity to have people of my age I never had that opportunity to do that um, weekend classes or vacation classes where people go and then have fun they go to class after class they go and watch movie they go to their friends house they do some visits I never had the opportunity to do all these things my first diploma course that I did I had to I paid my own fees I took care of myself throughout my first diploma I, after my first diploma, I went to do cake and sugar craft. I literally took care of myself the whole entire course. When I finished the cake and sugar craft school, I went to do SQR in database management. I practically took care of my own self until I realized that it was too technical and stuff like that that I couldn't contain the whole, you know, mathematics and scientific stuff and then I stopped the school. And then, see, as at now that I'm talking to you, I'm holding um, certificate and diploma in second class in television producing and directing that my parents are not even aware of it. They don't know the school that I went. They don't, I'm not, I'm not sure my dad or my mom knows that I have a second class in television producing and directing. I remember I had to run away from home because I felt like I wasn't happy again. I wasn't, I, I didn't belong there. There was a, a different lifestyle that I wanted that I couldn't find myself being at where I was and establishing all the things that I really wanted to establish. So I had to run away. I, I remember 2010 when I came back to my when I came back to Accra I was practically having like thousand Ghana city savings in my account 10 years ago you know that I was so kind of like I wanted to explore life I wanted to live like I wanted to run away from this hustling and you know always working hard and all those things so when I run away from home and I came back to Accra all I wanted to do is be a child be like see myself to be that 16 year old where I want to have fun I want to go out to have fun and show I want to make friends and all those things until it hit me back again that no life is not like that like you have passed that age that you will be having fun and chilling and all those things you have passed that age so you cannot go back to do all these things again that I had to rewind my mind back again to the who that I am and then still hustle ahead and until now like my mom doesn't know where I live. My dad doesn't know where I live. It's only my younger sister that knows where I live. And my whole entire life from my young age up till now has been me hustling and God's favor. That's all I can say. There has never been where I can depend on people. Even if somebody is providing me with something, there might be of service that I'm offering the person or if, if, if there is no service and the person is doing me good then probably it's God's favor upon my life so if I sit down to think about all these things and how my whole entire life has been I, I can't say I, I have I know what adulting is because right from the young age I've been hustling. I never had the chance to experience my 16 year old or my 18 year old or my 14 year old. I practically have no idea about all these things. So when I see young people who have now maybe graduated from college or university and then they are hustling now and they are providing stuff from themselves for themselves and they go like adulting is a scam like um adulting 101 i'm doing this i'm doing that i i, I ask myself what is all this adulting all about because your girl didn't know all these things being adults from my younger age has actually helped me a lot to be able to stand every pressure every step of my life of every situation that i've actually been in i've been kind of like a master of 
every situation that I've been in because there has never been anybody to stand up for me, to defend me, to provide for me, to say that I can relax and sleep and this person is going to provide for me. I think 75% of African children don't necessarily experience childhood. They kind of like grow up from their, ver their very young age to be more responsible providing hustling and working and don't get the chance to grow gradually like they grow up at once providing and hustling so they don't see all these things and you can't blame them because that's the part of the world that we were unfortunate to be so i hope you guys have learned a thing or two please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and join this journey of my life as i am now about to start my adult life i'm now about to start adulting at age 30 that's so weird but i still want to go through the process and then take my time and then go through them one after the other so feel free to join this journey so comment down below and let me know your experience let me know the things that you actually go through when you were younger that you never experienced being a child or you never experienced your childhood and adulting and everything that is kind of like confusing to me now i want to know all your story in the comment section so until we again same time it's your god and i can't see you bye